Hello everyone, Airmax here. When it comes to Linux, one of the main debates is the choice of Linux distribution. You heard it, you watch all this video, all those articles. Should I go there? Should I go there? Blah, blah, blah. But there is something we kind of like not talk about enough. And this is the display server protocol. And by that, I mean X11 or Wayland. We kind of like avoid the subject, but I believe this is a really, really important subject. Let's talk about it. Before we jump right into it, I want to thank you guys, all the viewers of this channel, all the proud members of La Crème de la Crème Club on YouTube and Patreon. Guys, the numbers have been like increasing like crazy for the last two months, and I'm really thankful for that. So keep doing your thing, keep watching my video, keep putting a thumb up in the video you enjoyed, and maybe a thumb down in the one you don't enjoy, I don't know. But please keep continuing what you are doing because this channel is actually taking off and I would like to keep the momentum. Thanks again, guys. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. As you certainly know, almost like two years ago, I totally ditched Windows and I moved to Linux. And during my choice of like the best distribution for my use, I encounter a big issue with uh, the, the display server protocol. X Wayland was a big issue for me, and, and Wayland in general was, was pretty bad, like a pretty bad experience for me. And I decided I will stick to X11. But what happened is like in the last like two or three months, we had a lot, lot of articles and videos coming up about how Wayland is the future, about all these new features they are going to implement. And we'll talk about it a little bit uh, in depth uh, in the future in this video, but, but you get it. Like I was like, am I missing out something there? So you know me, I had to dig into it. So what you are watching right now is an operating system I installed on a separate SSD on my main machine for testing purpose only. I did install it maybe like one month ago and I've been using it in and out for doing some tests and making this video. So I'm not doing that on a virtual machine. I'm not doing that with like a different uh, typical usage I will do. I'm using it as it was my main operating system. Like that, I can go a little bit deeper into it and I can give you a better, in my opinion, feedback. I wanted everybody to stop like uh, chirping me about the fact I was using Garuda or Endeavor OS and not Arch. This is pure Arch, the latest uh, Zen kernel installed on it. You can see my free monitor there at 270 Hz, 1414p. And you can see there is a four, fourth one at 140 Hz. And this is not actually a monitor. This is a capture card I'm using to record this video because uh, I will tell you after. But spoiler alert, it was pretty hard uh, to record anything, like to capture anything under Wayland. I'm using KD Plasma. Uh, Kwin as a Windows manager, and obviously uh, Wayland here. My CPU is a 5950X, I didn't change, and my card is an NVIDIA card. So before everybody starts to be upset in the comment, yes, I'm using an NVIDIA card. This is the elephant in the room, and if I remember correctly, let me show you the number here. Around 76% of my fellow PC gamers are also using an NVIDIA card. So before anybody starts to say, hey, you choose the hardware, you should use AMD, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys, I choose NVIDIA, and if I had to re-choose again, I will choose NVIDIA again, because I'm looking for performance, I'm looking for a card that helps me creating my content, because all my content here is created on Linux and on this machine. And I'm telling you, my 1490 has been a breeze. This card is a monster and AMD just doesn't have the equivalent on their hand. That's all. So now the question you're going to be asking me is that, hey, Air Max, if everything is working well on, under like X11, why would you try to install Wayland and make all these tests? So I told you a little bit before, like the fear of missing out, I guess, but also the fact that X11 development is dying right now. 
So we had a lot of articles going on showing that the development of Xorg, which is X11, is already minimal. And now like the big company like Red Hat just prefer to focus uh, their effort on, on Wayland. And when you look at the number, I will put all the link in the description below. Guys, this is pretty scary. Like you can see the number of commits is going down the drain really, really fast. The story is already written. X11 is dying. We're going to all have to move toward Wayland. But is Wayland ready for us? And I would say us, all the NVIDIA users. If, if you are running AMG, I would be also really curious for you to watch everything towards the end of the video and to put in the comment below your own experience to see if you encounter the same type of issue with AMG. But oh boy, I had a lot of issue with this one. Let's talk about uh, the installation first. Installing Wayland is not that hard, but launching it could be a little bit problematic if you don't know how to handle your NVIDIA driver. So this video is, won't be about installing NVIDIA driver, but I'm just going to tell you the process and what are the key points, and actually what is the key point you need to do. First thing is that you're going to be installing your operating system. Like in this case, I did install Arch. Then I did uh, install like X11 on it uh, with my uh, Windows manager here, like, uh, and my desktop environment, KGE and Kwin. And what happened after that is like, I made sure I had the latest version of the NVIDIA driver. Nothing complicated, right? Once everything is installed, there is one definitively step you can't miss. If you miss this step, you're going to be stuck at a, a black screen when you try to go into Wayland. And this step is to make sure that you load the direct rendering manager correctly. The fastest way, in my opinion, to do it is to do it at the early, early loading uh, via the kernel parameter. To give you an idea, uh, this is my boot configuration, this little line here. You can go to the art wiki, everything is explained, but I'm just going to show you what needs to be done. You had this line NVIDIA, a dash grm dot mod set equal one. You reboot, and then when you arrive and you choose your Wayland session, boom, this time it's gonna pop out. If you don't do that, you're gonna have a black screen and you're gonna be upset. Just just for reference, guys. Now you know how to install it. Nothing crazy, but I wanted to share share it with you if you want to try on your own at home and see uh, how it actually work on your machine because uh, I, I did try for four weeks again, and man, this was uh, not the best experience. So let, let's start with uh, the, the desktop experience itself. The desktop experience, I have to say, so we are on it right now. The desktop experience is, is definitely, I would say, solid. It goes fast. Uh, compared to X11, I would say it feels more solid. When I move my windows, I can, I can feel it a little bit smoother. And I, I have to say, like, th this is not bad at all. I can tell why from a pure, like, desktop usage, you can see and feel how smoother Wayland is versus X11. X11 is not bad too, but I would say it's, it's just better. Now, when it comes to capturing your screen, your environment through Wayland, I, I couldn't do it. I tried many things, but long story short, for me, it was just a no-go. So just, just give you an idea. There is maybe like trick you can do, but I didn't feel like doing them. Here, I'm trying to capture my full screen. You see? Uh, I just I just can't. You can see my, my mouse here, but I can't see anything else. Doesn't work. Now, let's say I want to capture any type of, of window here. I want to capture behind like the, the Firefox window here. I'm going to click OK. Doesn't work either. So you, you see the limitation right off the bat. There is an issue here. And to be fair, I, I don't want to understand the why or anything else related to it. I, I would just like it to work. Because just installing it is not as easy as installing X11, that's for sure because you need to make sure everything is aligned. But like, if, if I can do my work 
uh, I'm, I'm not going to say it, it's a great experience. It, it's not. And I think this capture issue has been there for a long, long time. Another bug related to Wayland are the custom shortcut and the global shortcut. I don't want to get too deep into it because I didn't already have the opportunity to test them. But I noticed like a lot of thread on the internet talking about this. So if you if you are using any type of like global shortcut, where it looks like uh, it's it, it's not there yet. Yeah, it's it's not there. So something to think about. So from a desktop experience, you won't be able to capture anything, and you won't be able to use your global shortcut without any specific trick, which might ruin your experience because well, it should be working out of the box. So I would say this desktop, desktop experience, kind of like a mitigated uh, approach, because on one hand, you have a solid uh, interface. You can feel like a little bit stronger than X11 when it comes to smoothness and reactivity. But on the other hand, uh, there is a lot of functionality who are, which are not there and which, which have been problematic for a long, long time. Uh, this, this ticket has been open uh, one year ago. And it's it's still not solved. So yeah, good luck with Wayland, guys. Now let's talk about gaming. I've done some tests. I've been playing a lot of game actually on, on Wayland just to make sure that I would give you a correct feedback towards it. And when you think about the future of the protocol for the uh, display server, you are thinking that you're going to get more FPS. Well, slow down. Slow down, because before talking even about that, we need to talk about the different features. Let's say you are like me and you are having the chance to have a G-Sync compatible monitor and you want to use it on Wayland. Well, it's not going to happen because uh, as you can see here, a variable refresh rate doesn't seem to work on both native Wayland and X Wayland application. It, it just does not work. So you can see it's not there. It's not going to happen. For NVIDIA Defense, it's not also working properly on X11. Actually, it does. It does work on X11, but only if you have one screen. If you have a multiple monitor like I do, you won't be able to enjoy it without special trick. And the trick being when you, when you start the game, you deactivate the two over monitor, and then G-Sync should be like activating itself. Uh, for the main monitor. So if you have only one monitor, it should be working. But if you have multiple monitors, it, it won't be working on X11. On Wayland, whatever your monitor situation is, it's just not happening. So a big thumb down for this one. It's not really annoying, to be fair, at least for me. I'm not really depending on variable refresh rate. I don't like this feature. But for people who are really into it, well, it's going to be a big no-no for you guys. Another point, which is super important, is the fact that you can deactivate VSync if you have an NVIDIA card on Wayland. It doesn't sound like a big problem, but for a gamer like me, it does. If you don't care about playing your game with a huge input lag, for example, you are playing solo game and input lag for you is not that important, or you are playing some type of game where your reaction time won't impact on your gameplay or you can just deal with it. I would say go for Wayland. Like it, it won't be a problem for you at all because the game is not less stable, but they, they definitely have more input lag than on X11. But they will work. You won't have any issue towards it. You just won't be able to deactivate VSync. I know some of my friends, they can tell the difference between VSync on and off. If you are one of those users, no problem for you. The good news is that by going through the forum and looking at one of the subjects, because the subject is really like getting pushed on the NVIDIA forum because everybody want to get rid of VSync, or at least like a lot of users want to get rid of VSync. Um, one of the mod of the forum when there and answer there and saying like the vsync issue will be fixed in the 5.45 driver release because for giving you a little bit of history on wayland before it was forced by the protocol itself 
to always have vsync activated now in kde you have the option to deactivate it but even if you deactivate it within your desktop setting it will still be forced by the driver so i, I know a lot of people like when i was talking about that on on one of the community i'm in they were like oh no no you can deactivate vsync like i'm, I'm running the game without vsync but those same users were part of the user I was mentioning before. They just don't get the difference between VSync on and off. And I'm telling you, I can guarantee you right now, it's you can just not deactivate it. It has been confirmed, like this has been confirmed here on the NVIDIA forum. So we are in 535 right now. And they said right now that they're going to push this patch pretty soon. So I'm guessing like around like four to six months from now. Maybe before, I don't know. I, I hope they're going to start to put like more like, uh, you know, energy towards this patch. But this could be big. Because right now, what really like bugs me towards Wayland is, is really this fact. If you are not a content creator and you don't need to capture your screen, well, this could be a, a big one. Because if they get rid of Force VSync, it could be huge. All right. So let me show you some gameplay real quick. So you, you might not be able to feel it, but my game feels a little bit sluggish here. I'm locked at 144 FPS, as you can see at the top there. Uh, there. Well, you understand, top left. And I'm, I'm locked there because I had to capture uh, this screen for another capture card, which is limiting my capture frame rate at 144. And what VSync do, it will just lock the FPS to uh, the lowest refresh rate which is a one of my capture cards here. So to give you an idea, if I was playing on X11 here, at this exact point, I would have around like 800 FPS with the same settings. Most of the users, they might even not like feel the difference between uh, VSync locked and not, not VSync locked, but, but I can't feel it. And it, for me, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just not happening. The other point is like, I would love, really love to uh, make some type of like benchmark but i can't bench it because i can't deactivate vsync i can't see how much fps i already got under uh wayland because i'm 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 frame cap at 144 fps knowing on this game i've normally have like a solid uh, eight seven hundred on this map that's that's a problem right for me to tell you oh yes i'm losing fps using wayland versus x11 I, I just can't tell. I'm actually really curious to understand how uh, Michael here was able to write this article. Because, because he made a full article on Foronix uh, towards the difference between uh, Wayland and Exorg, Exorg in terms of performance for Radeon and Nvidia. And you can see uh, some, some of his benchmarks are going way above 400 FPS there uh, for the RTX 4080 here for Counter-Strike. And I'm wondering, like, how could you get those frame rates knowing that VSync is informed, enforced on your desktop? Like, like you don't have a 400 hertz 4K monitor. So how, how can you get those FPS? I don't know. I don't know how we did it. I, I read the article multiple times, and, and, and to be fair, I don't get it. I don't get it. So maybe he's using, like, he's definitely using a different driver here uh, but i'm using the latest one he's using the beta one of my version so maybe there is some like trick within it where you can like play the game without vsync being activated I, I, I don't know but there is definitely something funky here so how do we conclude well it's pretty simple as today june 2023 is a driver for the NVIDIA card on Linux for Wayland are simply not ready. You can have like a pretty decent uh, desktop environment, like, you know, experience. If you are doing like uh, office type of work or just watching video on internet, you know, browsing, the, the actual like experience is pretty great. Outside of that, it's, it's all negative. If you want special feature related to your screen, it's, it's not implemented yet. If you like, like G-Sync. If you want um, to disable VSync to game at the maximum of the performance of your hardware, 
you won't be able to do it. Some people would say, like, I don't see the difference. I can still play, you know, with VSync on. Yeah, do it. But reality is, is like, there is some like feature on your hardware you just won't be able to use on Wayland. The future is promising because we had like an official message from NVIDIA uh, on the forum mentioning the fact that their next release, big release of NVIDIA driver will push like fix to those issues. I'm, I'm really looking forward to test them and then I like, give you a solid benchmark between like X11 and Wayland. I, I, I do understand why everybody is so hype about Wayland. The desktop experience you know, outside the feature and all the problem I mentioned before is, is super solid. It's, it's better than X11. But man, the, the cons are just too big, at least for me, to be advising anyone to run Wayland right now. It's, it's, just, it's just not worth it if you are a gamer. You're going to lose so much. It's going to be such a big headache for you guys instead of just you know running x11 and enjoying it because even if it's outdated right now it's, it's just working and it's working pretty good but you got my point i think you have to play the patience card here and just stay on stick on x11 something else i want to add when you look at the new features that wayland is promised to to put in the future i'm, I'm still really excited about it i'm just getting more and more impatient more and more impatient to be able to use, for example, like HDR on Linux. Wayland is supposed to implement it in the future, but when it's going to be like fully stable, I don't know. Maybe like when you watch this video in the future, it will be there and you'll be like, Air Max, it's done now. And I'm going to beat those comments and be like, yeah. But until then, yeah, uh, we, we, we are not there yet, guys. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.